Welcome everyone, this is Double. We're in my series Back in Time. Today we're going back to 1983. Pretty doggone good year. My junior year in high school. So we're gonna be looking for the uh the big three. Tony Gwynn, Wade Boggs, and my mind went blank. Ryan Schamberg, boy, Rhino, boy. Frank Valoa, there's rookie cards in here too. And Willie McGee's. They was really good players, both of them. But we're looking for the big three. So, man, well, we'll get, just get right into it and see what we can find. This way I bought the box. I'm hoping this ain't searched, but... It's 1983 Tots vending box. And... Get this, move these over to my 5,000 count boxes and tear this box on up. Well, that card's damaged pretty good. Jim Clancy. Let's just go right through and see what we can find today. Hopefully we can find at least one of the big three. And then it has not been searched. Lee May. Oh, come on now. At least give us a Hall of Famer. Gary Templeton was traded for Ozzie Smith. Well, I understand he wore out his welcome in St. Louis and they was ready to get rid of him. Well, these are 83s. These are 81s. Well, we know... This box is not right. <laughs> we got some 81s in there. It's another box I made them piece together. Future stars, the wrong ones. Some more 81s. That was uh, Dan Dresden. He'll go with my big red machine. <clears throat> Reserve a utility infielder. Yeah. Put them over the side there. No big names. Some more 81s. Shame people do this. <clears throat> Say they're unsearched, then when you buy them, they ain't even close to being unsearched. A lot of Braves uh, future players, but none of them may, may, made any difference. Well, maybe we can get back into some of them, get a chance, but I kind of got a feeling... We're not going to find any of the Hall of Famers, the big three. Dick Williams. That was 83. Put these over to the side over there. That's why I wish people wouldn't resell these vending boxes. There's a lot of people out there buy them up. There's a Hall of Famer, Glaylord Perry. Put him over the side. Bill Madlock, Pirates Leaders, John Caponelli. Don Sutton's a Hall of Famer. Get on through here and see what we can find now. Well, I hope everybody's had a great weekend. Putting this video out a couple days late. Had family in. Had all my kids and all my grandkids for the first time in a long time under at the same time. So I had a, I had a really good time. Cesar Geronimo played with the Reds. Center fielder, starting center fielder. Really good 
strong arm really fast. Good bat. Goose Gossage. Hall of Famer. I think I'm going to probably give us some of the lower end ones. Nothing there. Throw that box away. If you ever do break a bending box, tear it up and throw it away. That way people can't do this. Don't try to resell it for the ten or fifteen dollars it's worth. You just hurt the hobby. That's my that's my opinion on it. It looks like there's only a few 81s in there. Greg Nettles was a really good third baseman. Part of that Yankees team in 77 78 that went back to back World Series. Who was that? Ted Simmons is a Hall of Famer. About went right past him. I know I missed some stuff, but I try to keep and to go a little bit fast. It keeps videos shorter. I know people don't like to watch 30 minutes or longer videos, and it takes so long for me to upload them when I do that. Round one. Vita Blue and uh, Willie Nelson for the Royals leaders. Another Gaylord Perry. Move some of these over here out of the way before I can knock them over. Come on now. Kerry uh, Langford had a really good career. Anchored third base for the Oakland A's in the late 80s. Tug McGraw was a good pitcher. Tim McGraw's daddy. These cards don't want to slide apart. Dick Hauser, manager of the Royals in 83. Yeah, I would recommend if you buy a vending box, buy it really cheap, or you can get them certified, but I, I don't know if I really trust that or not either, because you can't really tell if, if somebody puts it back right. So, that's why I've been looking for a box that's, uh, that's been wrapped, but... Uh, Still, they just the price is way, way too high. Tony Armas, and they didn't leave as much in this box. It don't look like. And I ordered this on eBay, but it's been a while ago, so. I think I bought it at least over two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. But the wax boxes have gotten so expensive. Bobby Cox, there you go, when he's managing Toronto, Hall of Fame manager. Great manager. Ran, uh, wrong Randy Johnson. Too early for him. Oh, 
come on now. We're gonna get. We're gonna find something. We gotta find at least one of them. You would hope. Get my hand out of the way. Dave Winfield's a Hall of Famer. At least he's left us something. Put him over to the side. Pulled his rookie card just a couple weeks ago out of a box. Oh, come on. Let's pull him out right there. Dave Collins was a pretty good player. I'm lawless. Don't remember him. Phil Negro. Hall of Famer right there. Passed away this year. Gary Carter's Hall of Famer. Fred Lynn should be in the Hall, in my opinion. Won MVP and Rookie of the Year in 75, his first year. Forrester. This come out of the I think same lot of the 82 open last week. So I shouldn't be surprised that, you know, it wasn't it's been searched. We found a few good things, but you can tell it's been searched last week. Got an 84 and an 85 and an 86 I bought in the same light, so. Probably switch it up and do something a little bit different next week. I not gave it much thought. Well, Friday's Christmas, so. I don't know what I do next week. Try to manage it out a little a little ahead of time, but I don't always get there. Things come up. But we got a bunch of commons with just a few low end Hall of Famers or their older card and uh, later in their career cards that wouldn't. We got just a few more to go than we can truly be disappointed then, but we did get some nice cards. Some of those nice cards, there's you'll never see that in a vending box back to back of the same card. Rupert Jones, Sparky Lyle was a really good picture. Jim Cat just inducted to the hall. This been way overdue. At 283 wins and didn't get in, voted in by the baseball writers. I'll never understand that. 24 year career. There's a Hall of Famer, two of them Ricky Henderson and Tim Raines. Down to the last few cards here. Don't look like we're going to have any luck with the three big rookies this year. Nope. We got a lot of good commons. But nothing. 
Let's see, just tear that up. That way it'll never be used again on the garbage. I hope you enjoyed this. We didn't have much luck, but we did find a few Hall of Famers and odd and end cards. But I hope everybody has a safe and a blessed weekend. And I'll be hauling back you a little bit later with mail day. I still got to make that video running behind there too. So I'll see you in just a little while. Y'all be blessed. This is Double. I'm out.